view all the details of a brain, researchers need to slice it into thin sections. They start by fixing the brain in formaldehyde. Then sugar is added to protect the delicate tissue during freezing. The brain is then frozen into a block of soft material and machine cuts the block into thin slices. Even though the process is mechanized, you still need a person to move each slice into storage. The high-tech equipment they use to move it? A paintbrush. By keeping track of the slices, the 3D structure of the brain is preserved as an ordered stack of sections. Unfortunately, the slices come off the machine as a bit of a crumpled mess. Again, human intervention is required to sort them out. Each slice has to be floated in water so that it unfurls, with little help from another paintbrush. Once unfurled, it's placed on a glass slide that it sticks to, allowing it to be lifted from the water. To see the individual nerve cells, researchers rely on a series of stains. One colors cell bodies, another the nerve fibers, and so on. Each stain is applied to the slides, then excess is rinsed off. By the time the process is done, the brain is ready to be imaged at high magnification.